So let's make our new first new database and we're going to do a quite basic one which is tasks, a list of things to do or tasks. So let's start and open up Microsoft Access 2007. If you're using 2002 and there's anything different, I'll, I'll explain what's different. But um, it's worth having a look at the two videos I did, 2002 and 2007, so that you can see the difference. So anyway, if there are any other differences, I'll tell you. So I want to do a, a new database, and I'm going to call it to new, and here I'm going to call it tasks. So it's asking us straight away what we want, to, what data we want to enter in our new table, and I just prefer to go back to complete blank screen and go to create the table in Design View. But you could have just started entering there. Now this is Design View, and it's asking us what fields. So at the moment, all we can think about is we need a list of tasks. So let's start with that, and I'm going to add a primary key here. Now a primary key is it's an index and it, everything in it should be unique. So when we've got task, will they be unique? For example, phone Jenny or check on internet for some somewhere to buy a, a bicycle. Um, these are all unique. We, we're not going to check on the internet to buy a bicycle we're not going to write it twice, so we can we can just have that task as a unique field, and that's actually enough to start off with. So we can save it, and I've deleted that toolbar. So I'm just going to put this toolbar back in the uh, save toolbar. So we're going to save it as tasks, and then on the left we can see that we've got a new task table. So let's go to the data view and let's start adding some tasks. So as I said, we want to phone Jenny. We want to uh, buy a bicycle online. And what else do we want to do? We want to buy some fruit we want to uh, ask the boss for Thursday off we want to check internet oops for sales leads We want to check internet for weight loss programs. What else? We want to invite Bill to my party. We want to uh, speak to Maybe you've got a kid called Johnny, Johnny's teacher, and what else? Let's say you want to buy some cereal. You also want to. Um, Make a database of contacts. Okay, I think that's enough. Um, so what we've basically said here is these are all the things that we want to do. And at the moment, it's just a list. So we want to now think about how do we make this more useful. And let's think of some of the ways. So
So I, I always tend to start like this and, and add things in later. And even if we don't add it while we're making the database, once we start using this, maybe in a week's time, we say, oh, I really need to know this as well. And we can just add things. So any database really is always a work in progress. If you want to change it or add to it, you can. So I would say one thing we need to do is we want to sort them in priority because buying the fruit and asking the boss for the day off are probably not the same priority. Maybe it's more important asking the, the boss for the day off. So can we think of anything urgent? Nothing much urgent there. But anyway, so we want to set some priorities here. And let's go back to the design view. And so we want to give each item a priority. And let's just save that and have a look what we've done. So we've added a field in here that says priority. Now we could say, okay, priority one, priority two, priority three, and priority one is the highest. So then we would go down and we'd say one, three, two, whatever. Or another way we could say, okay, priority is high, medium, or low. And we could go down with each item. So the, the boss is a high priority, bicycle medium, buying the zero is low. Let's say buying fruit is low. Check internet for sales lead, maybe that's a high priority. Let's say high priority and weight loss program, that's low priority. And invite bill, that's um, we call it medium. Maybe we say middle instead. But the problem is here, we've got no what I've done. Now, you know, maybe if it's one, two, three, you won't have any problem about mistyping. But the problem is after a time, you might forget, oh, is it middle priority or medium priority? Or was it regular priority? And you might forget exactly what you'd called it. So what we want to do is some way of making this a bit more standard. High, medium, and low sounds okay, but here we've got low and we've put a capital letter. And we've low without spelling it right. So it's much better for us to have a lookup table. So that in the lookup table we have the priorities and then we just select which one. So let's make a new table. And we'll go to create table design. And this is going to be a priorities table. So the field name would be priority. What I tend to do is singular for the field name and then plural for the table name. So priority, again, high, medium, and low. We're not going to have two records that say high because it's high it's either high or medium or low so we're going to make a primary key on that because that's a unique field and let's save it as priorities so we've got a priorities table and the field is called priority and let's go to the view and let's add, we want either things to be high priority, or medium priority, or low priority. And that's our only choices. We don't want people to say, oh, very low. Or if we do, we should put it in here if it's very low. If we want that, we can add it. But for the moment, let's just say everything should be high, medium, or low, and nothing else whatsoever. So I think it's saved anyway. Let's just save it. And we can close that table. Now, here we still can write anything we want and it doesn't stop us. So let's go to the design. And under priority, what we're going to do is we're going to make a lookup to look up in the priority table. So here we've got the priority. And we go down to the lookup wizard. So this is the design view we're looking at of the tasks table. And we're going to say we're going to look up the priority. So we want to look it up. We've got a choice. We can look up the value either in a, a table or a query, or we can type in the values. 
Now you could do it this way. I will type in the values. You go to next, and you just type in high, medium, and low. But the problem there is when you when you come back to look at it, like looking at relationships, and when you want to add a new priority, maybe you want to have a, a priority of very low, then it's not so easy to see where you you stored that. So I prefer to to do it in a table. So we've got this priorities table. So we're going to look it up in a table.